So I've just had my very first test flight with the DJI Avata 2. And being an FPV beginner, in fact, I've never really flown FPV before purchasing this drone. I've got to say this was probably the most exhilarating flight I've ever done. When it comes to standard drone flying, non-FPV flying, I've done a lot of that. This is something completely different. Now, folks, the first thing I want to say is that if you, like me, are a drone pilot who has never really experienced FPV flying before, you owe it to yourself to try and find a way of giving it a go. Even if you don't actually purchase a drone yourself, but go somewhere where you're able to try this, then it's definitely something I would recommend as I think you will enjoy it. I'm already looking forward to my second flight. Yes, it's going to take a lot of practice and that's without even going into sports mode, let alone manual mode, which is going to take hours and hours and hours of practice if I even want to go there. For those of you like me who are in the UK, you need to be aware of a couple of rules that govern FPV drone flying. The main one being that for most flights, you are going to need to have a competent observer with you who can just keep an eye on the drone and retain visual line of sight whilst you are wearing the goggles. There are, however, three stipulations in place for me today, which means I do not need an observer. The first being I am a member of FPV UK, a recognized drone association body. The second being that I'm gonna be flying over several acres of land that is completely private and closed off to uninvolved persons. And the third being, I'm not going to be flying above 50 meters or 150 feet. Now it's very clear, even from my first flight, that the most exhilarating aspect of FPV flying is the control that you have when maneuvering between obstacles, a level of control that you just don't get when you are flying a standard drone under visual line of sight. Even as a first time FPV flyer here, I was able to pull off a couple of maneuvers that were really exciting for me. And I think that's just testament to the power of the DJI Avata 2. Of course, if I was using a more homemade FPV drone, I wouldn't have stood a chance, especially because of the lack of of GPS, I probably would have crashed that within three seconds of takeoff. However, the Avata 2 is back with me here in one piece, so I'm incredibly proud of that. And if it wasn't for this breeze that we've got right now, I would have loved to have taken this for a longer flight. Now, despite this being an FPV drone, one of the cool things about this is that DJI have bundled in a number of premium features, especially when it comes to the camera and the optics. In fact, this uses the same 1 over 1.3 image sensor that is found on the DJI Air 3 and also the Mini 4 Pro, which means you are able to record at up to 4K 60 frames per second, and you can enable DJI steadying features such as Horizon Steady and Rock Steady for that perfect footage. And yes, for those of you that love to create that stunning cinematic footage, you can also record in D-Cine-like mode as well. The DJI Goggles version 3 that is bundled with the Avata 2 are also incredibly comfortable. There is plenty of adjustability with the lenses and the image on the screen is absolutely crisp beautiful stunning live view image that makes FPV flying an absolute joy. And the motion controller, which is the RC Motion 3, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but I did go through the tutorial a couple of times before flying, and that did see me on my way. And literally after a minute or two of having the drone in the air, it started to feel like second nature, just moving that controller around and controlling the drone. The fact it gives you this little circle on the screen so that you can see and point where you want the drone to fly to. And the fact that the drone actually does that is extremely intuitive. And I think it's definitely gonna be a great system for beginners. Of course, if you are a more advanced FPV flyer, then you can replace the Motion 3 controller with the more traditional DJI controller for FPV users. However, that is not available in the package and you will have to purchase that separately. But overall, my first FPV flying experience was definitely a positive one. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't wait to put the Avata 2 through its paces and see what it's capable of. But that's my first thoughts for today. So thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.